putting in miles. That's what makes us all money. Being comfortable, well, that makes it easier to put in the miles. There's nothing in the rule book that says you can't look good doing it though. Hey everyone, it's Josh at Kenworth of Richfield. If you've seen any of our other videos, you already knew that, but bear with me in this. This one, I want to go over some of the accents and details that we've got on this truck that make this truck really, really sharp. Then we'll get into the details of why, why you really want to run this one. The first off, base color, silver. It's got a nice little metal flake to it. Looks really, really good, but it does also a good job of hiding dirt. Flame red fenders. To me, that is an accent on it, goes really, really well. Stands out, pops, doesn't attract too much attention now. What will attract the attention is the fact that this frame matches those fenders. Front to back, whole way through, even the fifth wheel. Sharp. So guys, one of my favorite parts about this truck is the interior. It's a 72 inch flat top, which for some odd reason is my absolute favorite. I know everyone still loves the studio. For this, for me, for some odd reason, this is, this is the top for me. It's the VIT interior, it's the diamond tuck. Super soft, super quiet, very comfortable to be in. Holds in the heat, keeps out the heat when it needs to. The other thing I like about this truck, back window. On these trucks, for some odd reason, it's just right, isn't it? So now let's get into some of the details of the rest of the stuff of the truck and go from there. To me, this shot of the interior really encompasses how this truck is put together. It's very nice, but it's also very utilitarian and there's nothing over the top. If you look here on the dash, you can see a full complement of gauges sitting right above the 18-speed shifter. Also, we've got the leather-wrapped steering wheel inside. Behind the passenger seat, you'll find a built-in fridge to keep things cool. On the other side behind the driver, a storage cabinet and then the sleeper control panel which includes the thermostat for the S-Bar bunk heater. Pop the hood and take a look between the polished air cleaners and you're going to find a 565 horsepower, 1850 foot-pound of torque Cummins X15 power plant. That pushes the power through the aforementioned 18-speed transmission then back to the 336 ratio dual locking rear ends. On top of those rear ends, we've got the Kenworth AG400 air suspension that uses eight airbags, so it's non-torque responsive. Smooth ride and less wheel spin is what that means for you. Further up, a Holland fifth wheel on an air slide so you can easily move and wait around when you need to. This truck, in my book, really is the ultimate combination of form and function. It's got everything that you need to get the job done. It doesn't have a whole lot of extra frills, but boy, let me tell you, this thing looks nice. This is a stock truck for us, so if it doesn't say sold in the title of this video, this thing's still available. If you'd like more information about it, by all means, give us a call. As always, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this. That way you can stay up to date on new trucks that we're getting in stock and some industry information. We usually come out with videos every Thursday. If you like this, do me a favor. Go ahead and put your thumb on that like button. If there's something that you'd like to see or if you have a question about the truck, please do us a favor. Put that in the comment section below. As always, stay safe out there. Keep it rubber side down and I will catch you on the flip side.